Hello, my name is Eldon. I own the uh, Starsky and Hutch movie car uh, used in the film Starsky and Hutch with Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson in 2004. Uh, I get a lot of questions about the wheels and tires. So I figured uh, while I was detailing the wheels, I'd make a little video here, show everybody the differences. This is a driver's side. It's a 15 by 8 and a half. All four wheels are 15 by 8 and a half. The only difference is this one has a 4 inch backspace because this is an Indy wheel. A lot of manufacturers made these wheels in the day. They're all very similar. And uh, with the 4 inch backspace, you only got a 2 inch lip. The other three tires and wheels are 3.5 inch backspace with a two and a half inch lip. The wider lip, I think, in my opinion, looks better. Okay, uh, the reason this one is different from the other three, which those are Anson wheels, this one is, uh, was replaced in the one, reverse 180 crash you see at the end of the movie. So I'm assuming they just grabbed one, a wheel and tire, and throw it on the car to get it back out there. You know, show must go on, right? Okay, and also something they did different on the movie cars is they painted the wheels on the back are black and the white letters are black. Also, instead of having a cap to push in from the front, they got a chrome metal cap that pushes in from the rear. I'm assuming it's just too hard to find the original style caps. Also, on all the movie cars, they machined the wheels to accept the acorn nut. So they'd all be the same. So they could do a quick tire change. They're all the same. These kind of sink into the wheel a little bit. Gives it a different look too. And uh, on the rear, we got 275 6015 tires. And on the front, we got the 235 60 15 tires. Uh, I wouldn't go no taller on the front because these here will rub the fenders a little bit on a tight turn on the front. On the back, there's plenty of room. You could go wider if you want to. A 15 by 10 will fit if you like that look. Okay, I hope that answers your questions.